Hello and welcome to Navani Milorian Fury video. I'm Shergok, your host, and today we are going to take a closer look at whether or not Princess Iris could have defeated Megumin and Kazuma. But before we're going to take a closer look at any of this, let me quickly thank my patrons for supporting this channel and say my thanks to all users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. And with that said, let's start with the topic at hand. In the sixth episode of the third season of Konosuba. Or if you have only read the novels during the sixth novel, the 12 year old Princess Iris repeatedly came close to fighting both Kazuma, Chris, and Megumin, which raises one simple question Would she stand a chance? Would this 12 year old girl that needs a military guard in order to even leave just her palace? have been able to mount any meaningful resistance against Kazuma in top condition and Eris. A more competent companion than Aqua in almost every regard. Or even against the walking, talking and fangirling Megumin. And the answer to both of these questions is a resounding yes. Iris is of royal blood and she isn't the only princess or member of the royal family whose hand would have been offered in marriage to worthy heroes. On the contrary, Iris' brother Jettis looks a lot like Kazuma because he has a lot of Japanese hero blood inside him, simply because over the course of centuries and millennia, many Japanese sheet hero item bearers were allowed to marry into the royal family and procreate, so only the strongest members of the society became part of the later royal bloodline strengthening it immensely. Aside from that, the royal house of Belzerg also inherited a lot of these cheat items from their former owners, meaning they have a great powerful stylish sword that they can use as their weapon of choice if things get dire. And Iris later actually has done so. And spoiler alert for the later novels, she, much like Kyoya Mitsurugi, was able to slay a dragon in one single swing of her sword, meaning she's just as OP as him at the very least. So in terms of sheer physical power, she would clearly outrank Kazuma and Chris. However, Chris and Kazuma, with their insanely high luck stats, might be able to trick Iris, like Kazuma tricked Mitsurugi, and outsmart it rather than overpowered him. And given the fact that Princess Iris grew up very protected in her royal palace, she lacks the street smarts that could be used to counter Kazuma's and Chris' underhanded tactics. So being outsmarted might be the only way that Iris would lose against Kazuma and Chris. Now as for the battle against Megumin, it would be very one-sided. While Megumin is a fantastic caster, and can essentially throw a non-radioactive nuke around, the same as Rudius Greyrat also did against Austed, Iris would be like Austed in this battle. Her body is way tougher, and her bodily strength way higher than that of Megumin, since she is not only of a royal bloodline, but also has an insanely high level, since in Konosuba taking lives gives you the essence of whatever life you have taken as experience points. This also means that the most experienced rich food that the royals eat day in and day out since their early childhood would translate into a hefty level gain and a power up without having to fight at all. Now with that said Iris also did training and fighting in the conventional way as well, so if she wanted she could close the distance before Megumin could chant her spell and knock her out or stab her through the chest like Austin did with Rudius. So even unarmed, Iris would be stronger than Megumin. While she looks frail, at least in body, she would be closer to darkness level of toughness rather than to Kazuma's. But just as Kazuma, Megumin is also quite clever and for example regularly outsmarted Yunyun in order to steal her lunch which eventually led Yunyun to pack lunch for two. Megumin therefore could also outsmart Iris. She has a keen and devious mind of her very own after all, and spent time with Kazuma. Roughly a year now, to be precise, 
and therefore it could very well be that Megumin could outsmart her, not by using a magic skill or something like that, since Explosion is the bluntest of magic spells there is, but Megumin could suggest other fields of competition, like when she beat Union in combat by being so slimy and froggy, that she disgusted Union into giving up. And she also scared and frightened Union into losing many other duels. So there are ways Megumin could win, but it would not be by casting Explosion, since Iris should be tough enough to at least stomach one single attack. And Megumin could also not cast any other spell, and especially not Explosion, in that close of a proximity anyway. So Megumin's road to victory would also be to outsmart her. Imagine Megumin coming up with a Kazuma quiz and then imagine her losing it. <laughs> Jokes aside, in terms of physical battle prowess, Iris would be stronger than any of the three, but like Mitsurugi she could be outsmarted. And with that said now it's your turn, let me know your thoughts about Megumin, Chris and Kazuma battling Princess Iris. And while you type, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to... Dash dash dash, other that the other, ASK, bad guy ye, bad boy to 316, Biza, Ben C, Brandon D, Chrissy, Crowley 0221, Sia, Crystal Prime, Dead Slime, Death is Mercy, Deathless Dragonlord, Demon Xenomorph 1987, Devon Downen, Ding Dong, Din Dragonlord Placido Saxophone, Duckwagon, Dunkler Krieger, Dystopia, Dystopia the Second, Enigmatic Unicorn, Feral Shivan, Guy with That Head, Hector Marino, Hoss, Huster, Jacob G, Jana B, Jason, J. Morris, Chromius, Kyle R, Lee K. Long, Legendarius, Le Louche Free Britannia with a Mustache, Lexus Fox, Lord Nishikian Rai, Lord Touch Me, Love Razor, Merovec, Mr. Shoes, Mr. Tweaker, Michael R, Michael Y, Nope, Oh Hell No, Normal Toad, Oh Kill, Overlord General Gasper, Paddy Pantom, Personage, Primus Eleven, Rhinomir, Cune Karakos P, Shergox's Daddy, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Sir Axel Lottel, Super Tier Magic Batista Bomb, Supreme Cheese, Staris, Ted, Texas Deer, The Orc Warboss, Rocket Smasher, T.E. Vang, Vashokai, Virgito27, Venture Fanatic, Wilhelm, Zinukai, and Zonagon. Thanks guys. Anyway, have a nice day and I hope to see you all again soon under my next video.